Hey, what's up, you guys? We're back. Seven days to die. Day 16. We found ourselves a Shotgun Messiah. We're going to go run the gauntlet that is Shotgun Messiah. Uh, if you were with me last episode, you'd know we've, we found this factory. There's a factory right there. There's a big building right there. There's a big building right over there. So that's what we're going to be doing. Time dependent, of course. All right. Welcome home. It's like coming home. Welcome home, meaty. Welcome back to the Shotgun Messiah Corporation. Thank you. Thank you for the warm welcome. Appreciate it. You okay, friend? Oh, did you fall down? Out of the roof? And you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna remove the suppressor from this. See if we can go go loud with it. All right, let's see. Now it looks like a stubby. You know the what the heck was that? Did you hear that? Dude, I thought my car blew up. That blew up. Dude, I knew I... Okay, I thought my car blew up. That thing blew up. Why? There's no one even there. <laughs> Dude, I, to I totally heard an explosion. And I'm like, oh, please don't be my car. <laughs> oh, not cool, game. Not cool. Let's see how loud this thing is. So the suppressor's cool, but it uh, looks funny. Looks funny. Because it puts like a sight out on the end of the suppressor and makes the shotgun longer. And I don't know if it, we're going to find out if it adds recoil. It may, until you max out Boomstick and get all the books for shotgun, you, you, uh, you actually, hold on. You actually lose damage, right? By putting suppressors on until you you fully got it uh till you fully have it maxed out, all kitted out with all your perks for Boomstick and all of the books read for Shotgun Messiah. So I definitely am not there with shotguns. Duct tape? Uh, I probably should take that, but right now. I'm not going to worry about it. Put purple wrench in the car. Purple wrench. This should also draw more attention to us. <laughs> that was the idea with the suppressor was to see if I could, you know, give myself a little bit more survivability. <laughs> Arm and leg. Head. Head. Look at that. Dismemberment. I, I, you know, just going to say it feels a little stronger, but who knows? Might just be because it's louder. So we got to make our way all the way up there to that thing and walk across it. That's where we need to go. It's a long way. Hip fire. You're like, why are you reloading? You still have 31 minutes. I like to reload. They always seem to gather outside when you're in here, too. Because they're stupid. They don't know how to get in. They don't know how to use a door. They're zombies. They're not known for their uh, intelligence. Give me some. I was just looking for some ammo. See, they're out here. Stick your head through there again. Whatever. I don't have time. Impatient. Shotgun is. I'm definitely thinking it's performing better without the suppressor. Where are you? 
That guy doesn't even know where he's going. All right, let's go get the uh, super secret stuff. This usually draws a bunch of attention because you get in proximity through the walls with a bunch of zombies up here and they start bashing the place up, but you can, you can be, get up there later on, but you'll look down and go, dang it, I missed three crates. You can hear him start, I aggroed him by being in proximity. Play K. Uh, should I start collecting? I have some pistol parts. I don't know if I have enough. Not sure I'm gonna be racing back, racing back to. Uh, maybe rad 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 remover mod. Whoop. Whoop. Later. All right, this is where it starts to get real. You can hear I aggroed the crows up there, or the vultures. Where are the crows at? It's the latest. Hey, what the? Dang, sneak attack. I've been flanked. Oh, that's the other thing. We got to keep our eye out for a... Um, Sniper rifle, not the hunting rifle. I want the semi-automatic for the next blood moon so we could snipe those fools out of the sky or at least attempt to maybe with a not a not a uh, magnified optic maybe a red dot Because I kind of need to keep some uh, Peripheral vision going because if you're looking up <laughs> Good luck son. Good luck. I Thought that said work in sniff tools <laughs> Sniff he said sniff. Alright, where is the stuff? Alright. So you could use your M60 here to take care of, oh yeah, let's take care of business. So you gotta aggro all these people. They come out of the ceilings in the bathrooms. Nice. Look at that row of them. A row of nurses. Ooh. Ah, I thought usually ammo pile. I like the ammo pile. They're on the outside out there. All right, shotgun time. I think I shot a couple extras, just saying. Machine gun parts. Anybody else want to pile up? Huh? Everybody came out of here, right? Yeah, they're all in the ceilings in here. You got a couple in the hall and a few right here that all will attack you. I always try and set up guns in that spot. He never remembers it. <laughs> Sucker. What the? Oh, I thought that was a vulture. Oh, she's tough. Ah, oh, not a reload! Bad time for reloading! Dang vultures! Dude, luckily they didn't break my face. Luckily they didn't break my face. You know what? Better get some vitamins ticking away. 
Because there are more vultures coming up. And this gives you a little bit of uh, anti-vulture medication. Oh, what? Why are my sneak attacks not doing? Sneak attack. All right. Vultures? No moss? Oh yeah, there they are. Oh, you got woken up there, did you, Mr. Businessman? Really like the mu mood music. Funny, sometimes you can knock these guys off and they end up piling up down there like so mad. So mad that you knocked them off. They're doing everything they can to get back in. It's one in the back of the neck just in case he wanted to get froggy with me. Ooh, that guy ate a bullet like the Hulk. Guys have like a what is it? Matrix? Uh, not Matrix. It's um. What was I thinking of? I was thinking of Keanu, but uh, John Wick, the second one, isn't that where he goes to Rome and they give him a armored suit? Yeah. Dude, do you guys have any idea how bad? That would hurt. Look, an actual bulletproof vest, like military style, they're thick. They're thick, right? They've got ceramic plates in them to not only stop the bullet, but also to keep it from impacting your body so hard. I have a, a perfect example I can give you about what it, what it kind of would feel like if you got shot with a bulletproof vest on, like, like the cops wear, those thin ones, level twos. They're really thin, they're just Kevlar. Or one of the ones from John Wick. You ready for this? Does everyone know what a ball-peen hammer is? It's a regular hammer, except it's round, right? One side is round, one side is the hammer side. So picture a, a good-sized ball-peen hammer, put it in my hand, you put your arms up in the air, let me swing it, as hard as I can and hit you in the ribs with it. That's what it would feel like if you got shot wearing a bulletproof vest that is level two, 2A rated. That's like what police wear. That's what John Wick was wearing. Yeah, yeah. No one ever talks about that in Hollywood, do they? Like, well, he's got a bulletproof vest on. He could just, no, no. It'll knock you out. It'll actually disturb your respiratory system where you'll stop breathing if it hits you in the wrong spot or the right spot, depending on how you look at it. Little things you may not know. I'm here to pass on the information that the movies and TV shows and other people don't talk about. Yeah, serious, serious pain. You don't believe me? Well, that's your their option, but why do you think that they get broken ribs and huge bruises? Imagine someone swinging a hammer and hitting you in the ribs or in the stomach or in the chest. That's what it feels like. Why do you think those, um, the military style or the SWAT style or those, those rifle style uh, vests are so big, bulky, and thick? Well... That's because there's actually either polypropylene, which is like plastic. It's a new wave of stuff. Or military style, which is ceramic, like a plate. You drop your vest, you can actually break the plates in there, the ceramic plates. Yeah, I bet you didn't know that. Yeah. Just a wealth of useless information. Hello? Ha <laughs> ha! Come to Papa. Might as well open up the other side while I'm shooting. Useless information from Meaty. I just is interesting. Find it interesting. Crazy stuff. 
Uh, there could be some health kits in there. Now there's some zombies in here. Hello? Could I please have some large med kits? Hey! That guy come a maintenance worker hanging out around the, the ladies. He's like, I'm going on my lunch break, ladies. Would you care to join me? Yeah, ah, we've we've all seen that. The guy. We know his we know his game. We got him figured out. Fruit salad, bananas. Remember the bananas? Looks like bananas and just want to shoot him. Really like hip firing the shotgun, but you it's way better to match the ADS. Is that a double no, it wasn't a double head. Now it is. <laughs> Where the per parrot's at. Three? Do I hear a four? Can I get a four? Veda 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 four. Hey up. Hey up. Another nice little tarp area up here. I might as well call him. In. You, did you fall down and go boom? <laughs> hey, when you got ammo, man, you can troll him. Why not? Why not shoot him in the face? They're trying to kill you, after all, right? I always fall right here. I'm supposed to crouch and then up. Oh, oh, I did it that time. You're a liar, Meaty. You said you always fall. Well, apparently not always. All right. How about repair, repair, and repair? It's like to keep them all ready to go. Good and good. Oh, whoa, that guy's got some good moves for a construction worker. <laughs> this guy, better, 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 swing a better. All right. Well, these guys were on their break. Now they're permanently on their break. Something's, the, something's in the way there. Give me the wubs. Give me the wub wubs. All right. I really like these, man. One building. Oh, this is the part I don't like. I swear. I've almost died here multiple times. You're like, why? You'll see. Because I don't know where they're at. I think they're up on top to start with. So I can't... <laughs> Pre shoot him. There's two. One's on the inside. Thought he was on the inside. Yeah, they've broken my leg, almost knocked me over the edge. Man, that's a swarm attack right there. Not shawarma. <laughs> There's a shawarma joint down the street. I think we should get some shawarma. <laughs> Uncle Gaspacho. Let's do this! Why don't you take a break and put your head through the fence, son? Dummy. Dummy, dummy, dummy. So, you can go up there, jump out the window, it goes nowhere. This is the way you want to go. Go meet the lady scientist. So when they added the lady lab coat scientist, this was the first spot I ever saw them. It was right in here. Did 
these ladies. Scientist lady! Nothing a little 9mm won't take care of! Now I told you guys, you go out that way, you go out and around, deal with more vultures, but why? Why? Why when you have breaching rounds, don't you just shoot that door off? See, you would normally come back in here. One vulture. There's two or three out here, I know there are. Anyway, all right, there's always this fool here. And he runs the other way. He runs away from you because of this opening. Always the same. If you run fast enough, you catch him. Those two guys both came out of here. I shot that thing trying to think I was cute. I almost got, almost got set on fire from behind. Is, okay, is that normal? Again, you can make your way up here, too. If you just breach some of these stairs, you can actually get right... If you want to bypass it, there are bypasses. What fun is that? Like, I could go... If I went up, breach this part, and got right to there, I'm all the way to the top. But then you don't get to go through the maze that is Shaka Messiah! really good crowd suppressor because even if you shoot into them you can slow them down knock them down by yourself some time that's why i don't ever you never use those duck build and the, the different chokes that are in the game because it narrows your your shotgun pattern you want it to spread out if you want to do crowd control i mean if you want narrow shots just use slugs <laughs> don't mess with duck build duck build platypus. Don't mess with the duck bills. There's a ton of them right up there. Wow. That, why that take so many? Oh, what the... What the bleeding? Oh no, I gotta. I need to I need to heal myself. I think that that guy hasn't trimmed his nails in a while, you know what I'm saying? He scratched me. Not cool. Hey, ammo pile. Nice. Both of those. How about a new pistol, please? New pistol? Explosives. And stay dead. Game just doesn't want to give me a new pistol. Fine, I'll make it. Get on your knees! You can obviously break through there if you want. I, you know, sometimes it's fun. A lot of playthroughs I do, I do them day by day. And we'll run... I think that last series I did was pretty cool. There's a bear out there. Because we did... Um, He's out of range from the M4. Did day and night, right? That would be day one. But it is kind of cool just to mix it up and, and not know that you're going to be in the middle of a shotgun messiah when night hits. <laughs> Which is what just happened. Oh, I always troll guns here too. Oh, not this one. Up there. When we get up there on that that little thing. Totally troll him all the time. 
more vultures out here, I think. See, when they combine vultures and the dudes, that's when you really get in trouble. do anything about an abrasion eight minutes we could drink some water definitely feel better about ourselves eat some sham perfect now I feel so much better way down there we're making our way up okay all right vulture time again vulture can't see him there he is one No mass vultures. So I, did I see his shadow? I definitely pivoted based off of something. All right, so this is where I troll guns. See that thing there? <laughs> hey! That's where I always troll him. I'm like, dude, you need to go down in the hole. There's a bunch of dudes down in here. Or you can just sh shoot this door off the stages and walk right out. <laughs> All right, we're gonna drop down here with the 60. I'll show you how many's down here. In this little area. You fall down in here, and you don't have something like the 60 or a crowd pleaser, you know what I'm saying? So then you go here, and you go right back up, and there's that door. <laughs> Always get him with that one. Oh, dude, those are good old trolls right there. You know what I'm saying? All right, we're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Oh, we're going back down. Yeah. Is there a lady? Oh, the big boy. Dude, how did he get in there? <laughs> so he farted when he died. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Time for the helipad. Wait, I have uh, five explosives. Okay. Found that. So I've been able to climb up the ladder and be at the top. And th if you throw from here, it doesn't work. Like... It's not that you have to aggro them, but sometimes they don't spawn in until you get closer, right? And then the other thing you can do, you can actually, if you're quiet. Oh, I'm not very quiet. That should I Get away from me, dude. I'm trying to throw explosives, little fella. Uh, we got some irradiation going on. Dude, I remember. And it, it could be in any game if you're not if you're not well equipped with weapons. But these helipads, they're no joke. They're pretty scary. 
The hospital helipad? Oh, man. Look at there's still dudes up here. Dance for me. What? He's going to break my leg. Used to be the thing, climb on top of cars. Now the cars explode and they break your leg, so. And we're going down, down, down. Then here's that staircase. I know I tell you guys every time, but some of you guys like shortcuts. So I'm just letting you know the shortcut. All right. Are we going to go check that? Nah, not this time. We're not going to check. I always go there and go in there. Dang, Vulture! She can barely fit down the railing! Buffet time. Wow, they, there's actually a lot of irradiated ones up here. It's like, like day 17 or the night of 17 has introduced them in full effect. Look at that building over there. Holy shnikes, it's so big. Is that like a Lego tower? Remember, they there used to be a lot more zombies up here. And you get up there. Well, up there, for some reason, they all wanted to go in the tower. And it, back in the day, when the uh, rocket launcher was actually really good, they nerfed it for because of multiplayer, they told me. So back in the day when rocket launcher used to be really good, you'd sit up there and rocket launch that. Oh, it was so much fun. It was so rewarding. <laughs> to the top we go. I think Guns fell through that one time and he thought I trolled him. I didn't. Just so happened there was nothing there. <laughs> Maybe I shot it out. I don't know. I'm not saying I did. I'm not saying I didn't. All three of our ammo types right there. That was good. Hmm. Some handgun parts. Yeah, I'm going to start collecting some handgun parts. That's way too many shots. I need a better need a better pistol to shoot these open quicker. I think I could get to where it's like three shots. Maybe? Maybe not. All right, well, one thing left. Only one way to open it. Four shots. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. That's it. Here, you can have that. Keep that. Yeah, that's it. Now, look at the view we got from up here. It's that time of day. I know it's four in the morning, but it's almost like golden hour where, well, it's in the morning. Like you're starting to get, you still getting light from the moon and you're starting to get light from the sun. So it's very clear, right? And the lighting is so perfect. It's in direction, in directional lighting, right? Non-directional. So it just lights up everything. And that's why everything looks so smooth. That's why you want to take for uh, photographs and videos during that time. Because the lighting is just gorgeous. That being said, any building that reaches above the skyline of the trees, I think we're going to do that one next. After that one, we're going to head over there. I, I, don't, I don't remember what, what that is, but there looks like there's three buildings. We should be able to find something there. Then after that, we'll head over to that other factory over there. But this one was good. It actually, we had a little day all the way through the night through the Shotgun Messiah. All right, you guys. That's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I kind of, I took my time a little bit in there. It was a lot more fun than just running past or running around doing all that. I actually liked doing it that way. So you guys hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Comment down below. Join me next episode. Thanks for watching.